Is trying to figure out how to style your braids frustrating you? Do you want new styles? Do you need help? Well, I got you. Stay tuned to figure it out. Okay, so let's get started. As you can probably tell, these are not single braids, but the same principles apply. These are single use twists, kinky twists, Havana twists, whatever you want to call them. And I'm so proud of myself because it's my first time doing any kind of anything like this on my hair, like box braid anything. But anyways, on to the first style. What you want to do is have a clear part down the middle. Um, it doesn't have to be straight, but preferably. And now you take one side and you twist it. So you want to have clean sides both sides and you take the hair from the front and twist it and it's similar to how you would do a cornrow or a french braid or a, a two strand twist you're just going to pick up hair as you go and twist all the way down and make sure you get all the hair in the back And do the same thing to the other side. Yeah. If you're wondering throughout this uh, video why I'm dancing off beat and singing random words, it's because I was listening to other music before I recorded over, you know, all this jazz. But anyways, do the same thing, secure this side, blah, 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 and this is how it looks. It's very cute, boho chic, and very in style, especially for summer, August, blah. Alright, so what you could do as well is braid it instead of twisting it. This provides a more clean, classic look, um, and it also uh, makes it a little more secure, but I like it both ways, and it all depends on your preference. So you can do it on both sides, um, or you can do a twist and a braid, whatever you like. This is the braid on this side. And the other side has a twist, but you can do whatever you like. It's up to you. So the next style, what you're going to do is take the front of your hair. I start with the part down the middle, um, continuing on from the last style. And you can take about two rows, two or three, depending on how thick or thin your hair is. Put it in a ponytail, the back part, so that's out of your way for now. And what you're gonna do is put all one, all your hair over to one side, whatever side you prefer. But put, or you're gonna twist into that direction. So kind of put it that way. So now I'm twisting, doing the exact same thing as I did earlier. I'm doing it as though I'm doing a cornrow. So I'm picking up hair as I go along, as I twist. And I think this provides a very cute look. It's almost like a braided headband, but with a twist literally and um, you don't have to twist all the way down but um, I'm gonna twist until it's secure enough for me to put a rubber band on it so you want to secure it with a rubber band so that it stays in place and it doesn't become a big loose twist and I'll take that hair down and I mean you can wear it like this this is really cute or you can twist both sides and combine the first look and this look into like pigtails things that would be super cute as well but what I'm going to do for this look is put it all up into a ponytail at least for now so you're going to put it all up into a ponytail it depends on how high you want the bun that's coming um, it's where you're going to place the ponytail that's all personal preference um, the ponytail could be a cute look as well if you just leave it like this but I'm not going to once again so take the hair over to one side and twist that hair I told you I'm keeping with the twist theme I was not lying so you're gonna take the twist and pull it over your head and kind of twist it onto itself and to make a bun so while you wrap it around you twist and then kind of pull it underneath the bun and secure it with the scrunchie and what I do with the scrunchie I don't pull it all the way underneath the bun so that it secures it a little better at least I find that it does the trick I do in the gym that's kind of how I learned it but here's this style I think this is so cute and it's definitely a go-to hairstyle this summer for me 
and while I'm in school. As you can tell, I was excited. That's why I was dancing. <laughs> I love that style. Anyways, on to the next one. So what you're going to do, I mean, this style is really easy, so it's not that hard to follow, but you're going to put your hair up into a half up, half down style and make that part a bun. Don't pull all the way through, just stop at a bun and separate the hair and make a little bow. So as you can guess, I'm doing a hair bow. Um, one of my subscribers requested this from me a while ago. So I'm taking the excess hair that's hanging down and twisting it. You don't have to do this part, but I like to. And then you pull that hair up, up and through the empty part of the bow. It creates that whole like gift wrap bow look, you know. And now you bobby pin it. So you're gonna wanna secure that as good as possible. You can use as many bobby pins as you like, but one worked for me. And now you have a cute hair bow, which is very easy. And I hope whoever asked me to do this is happy because it took me a while. Sorry. <laughs> but this is so cute. And voila. As you can see right here, I got really stuck. And I didn't know what to do. So I decided I'm going to share a hair tip with you. What I do when I don't have a scrunchie and my hair is falling all over my face, I put my hair as if I was going to do a French braid. And then... I don't do it all the way. So I only um, braid it to about halfway of my head and stop. And what this does is keep my hair from falling in my face. And I thought I'd share that tip with you guys because I'm sure you guys could use it. So that's about it and all the styles I have. Um, this last one with my hair down, you can wear your hair like this too. I like wearing my hair to the side, but it's all personal preference. So I shall see you guys next time. And I really hope this helped. If you have any questions, ask me. If you like the video, you know, let me know. Comment, like, share, whatever. But I'll see you guys next time. Peace.